2020 3.0 Duramax. We got a P0016 crankshaft position. Cam position not plausible. Now what I've got is the updated camshaft timing chain that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. But I figure you guys want to take a look. This is our oil pump belt. We've got roughly 100,000 miles. Let me grab a light so we can see it better. 99,900 miles. You can see it's got some flop in it, right? So yes, that will be replaced. Timing chains will be replaced. Let's get into the timing chain update. All right, so for 2021, they actually revised the timing chains and there's a different timing chain. What I have here is this part number. And now what we'll see is you see the holes that are in it? That's the updated design trying to get this zoomed in and able to be seen but you could see the holes previous design did not have any holes in it now one other thing that I want to point out is the reluctor wheel also got redesigned you could see this is just a thin metal and what they did was they went to a much thicker piece so these are susceptible to actually bending uh, anything can happen with them. They're super weak. So you want to check this anytime you pull it off I would just replace it with a new updated revised version Which is not in yet. We're waiting for that to arrive That's why I haven't set up the timing chain tools But there are a whole host of tools that need to be installed on this as well But you can see so we're gonna go ahead and do all the timing chains like I said This is just under a hundred thousand miles on this, but once again, this is the updated timing chain versus the old timing chain again and it was roughly 21 and a half is when they did this change don't know exactly when now how did this happen there's a lot of key factors one it could just be a timing chain issue itself which prompted the change here but we also could have oil consumption now i've got a video on reading your camshaft cover that i recommend you check out if you've got an early version of the LM2 because that will tell you if you have a camshaft cover that's actually ingesting oil through the pipe. So look into that. These ones are off. You can see right there the markings are not lining up. So again, we got to set up the tools and all that and get that taken care of, but oil pump belt will be taken care of. It's 150,000 mile on the LM2. LZ0 is 200,000 miles. Same part number. Got a video on how much that will cost just for this, but obviously just to get to that, you got to remove the transmission, the rear cover plate, which is off. Got everything off right now. It's better to see, easier to see. All right, till next time. See ya.